Hi, today we'll see how to set up a vnet to vnet connection in Microsoft Azure across two different regions using Resource Manager. So to begin with, let's create resource group. So one resource group will be in Southeast Asia. And let's create one more in another region. West Europe. So yeah, both the resource groups are created in West Europe and Southeast Asia. Let's come back to the dashboard. Now go to networking and create a virtual network both in uh, West Europe and uh, Southeast Asia. Take the address space as 1010 with a subnet of 16. Also take the uh, subnet address range to be something like 10, 10, 10, 0, slash 24 and use the existing resource group which is resource group Southeast Asia and location will be Southeast Asia and create. And do the same for uh, resource group West Europe. So this is the virtual network in West Europe. Let's take the uh, address space as 1011 with subnet 16. And uh, choose the resource group as West Europe and location as West Europe. And create. So this should not take much time, I think uh, the uh, virtual network in Southeast Asia is already created and uh, one more in, no, in its way. Okay, the deployments are succeeded. Now let's uh, go back to the virtual networks which we have created and we have to add uh, a gateway subnet in each BNet regions. So open the virtual network and click on the subnets and add a gateway subnet. The default one should be good. And do the same for uh, another virtual network as well. Go to subnets, click on gateway subnet and just press OK. Yeah, here we can see both the gateway subnets are added successfully in the respective VNets. So it's time to create a gateways which we call virtual network gateways which form a tunnel, VPN tunnel between both the virtual networks. So further, go to the networking tab and look for virtual network gateway. So one will be in Southeast Asia so choose the location as Southeast Asia so that it gives the virtual network as what we have created before. And if we don't have a public IP before, we can create right away. That's it. Uh, so yeah, this typically takes about half an hour to 45 minutes. Let's create it. and do the same in another region. This will be in West Europe. Choose the location as West Europe and choose the virtual network which we have created, which is this guy and choose create a new public IP. And create so Typically this takes about uh, half an hour to 45 minutes. I'll pause the video for a while. Welcome back. Both the virtual network gateways have successfully created. Let's go to all resources and view what we have created so far. 
So these two are basically the virtual networks which were created in two different regions and their corresponding virtual network gateways. So in order to form a, a connection between the virtual network gateways, in order to establish a connection between two regions, we have to add a connection uh, between these two gateways. So let's go to a gateway in one of the region and go to connections tab here and click on add and give a name which is basically we are trying to form a connection between the Southeast Asia region to West Europe region with a connection type as VNet to VNet. So the first gateway would be the Southeast Asia gateway and the second gateway we are trying to connect is basically the West Europe. So this is the one and uh, give a shared key which is something like uh, a string uh, and just click on OK and do the same in other region which is uh, gateway in West Europe. So this is the public IP address which Microsoft Azure has assigned us and click on the connections tab do a add and this connection is basically between West Europe to Southeast Asia with a VNet to VNet connection type and the current uh, gateway is basically the West Europe gateway and the second gateway is basically the Southeast Asia gateway and give the same key which was given before which is hello world and click OK so basically now this is uh, uh, establishing a connection between two virtual network gateways in fact we would say between across two different regions so this will take a moment uh, yeah if we could see here the connection status basically is unknown for the moment so which takes pretty much about two to three minutes to get this connection succeed So the connection is established successfully between the two regions. So here we could see the status uh, saying connected. Click on this link and we can see the uh, a, a package going in through the virtual network gateways uh, over the VPN tunnel on both the regions. So yeah, this is from West Europe to Southeast Asia. And again, we can see same on Southeast Asia to West, Asia, West Europe, which is some data flowing between these two. So to look uh, to check uh, again on the uh, all resources, yeah, these two are the connections which we formed uh, across two virtual network gateways, or uh, we could say across two VNets uh, deployed in two different uh, regions. So to um, look into uh, how the traffic is uh, uh, really flowing between the gateways across the tunnels, we can we can set up a virtual machines in two different regions and see. Uh, ping each other and see whether the traffic is going through or not. So let's add a virtual machine in two different regions. So I'll take uh, Windows uh, Server 2012 R2 Data Center server version. Create. So this is VM in uh, Southeast Asia. use the existing resource group and click OK. I'll go for 2 core 7 GB. So let's keep it all the same and click OK. No validation is passed and click OK. So let's create another virtual machine in uh, West Europe. Again, the same Windows Server. Create this VM in West Europe.
use the existing resource group which should be rgw and location is dash zero click ok choose the instance type so the virtual network is vnet we and go for the default subnet with the private ip and uh, pretty much everything is default this is good validation is happening and click ok so this takes couple of minutes to deploy the vms so here we can see the virtual machines are successfully deployed so let's go back to the dashboard virtual machines and get the public IP address so we can do a RDP and see how, what is the IP assigned so So this is a Windows Server uh, deployed uh, in uh, Southeast Asia. Let's quickly check the private IP configured in this VNet. So here we can see the IP address assigned was 10.10 .10 series which is 1.24. So let's also go and check the other VM in West Europe. So here is the public IP address. I'll try to RDP to the same. So let's check the private IP. <clears throat> so this is uh, 10 11 1.4. Let's try to ping 10 11 sorry 10 dot 1.4 which is basically the IP assigned to virtual machine deployed in Southeast Asia. So this is not pinging as of now. Uh, the remedy for this is basically we have to turn off the firewalls in both the cases, both the uh, servers. So currently it is on. So let's turn it off. Also, we'll do the same on uh, VM running on Southeast Asia. So here it is on, let's turn it off. Okay. Now let's try to ping. So this is the West Europe uh, VM. I'm trying to ping Southeast Asian VM here. So this is the data basically trying, we are trying to access the VM uh, which is in the VNet uh, deployed in Southeast Asia. So let's ping from the other side as well. So this is the VM from Southeast Asia. I'll try to ping the IP which is assigned to VM in West Europe. So we can see the traffic is flowing between two watch VNets uh, deployed across two different regions. So for 
also we can view the network uh, in and out across uh, in the VM itself so this is where we just started the traffic so you can go and see the traffic is flowing between two regions that's all from my side thank you